Hello there, good evening. We start with breaking news tonight and the GB News presenter Lawrence Fox has apologised for on-air comments which have seen both him and the show's host, Dan Wooten, suspended from the channel. Mr Fox had described the political journalist Ava Evans as a little woman who was pathetic and embarrassing before indicating that no-one would want to go to bed with her. As the media regulator Ofcom launched an investigation, Lawrence Fox released a video tonight saying that his comments had not been right. It's demeaning to her, to Ava, so I'm sorry for demeaning you in that way, however angry I am with you still for doing that. And it demeans me because um, it's not representative of who I am. And also I'd like to add that I'm not saying any of this stuff because I know I'm going to get sacked tomorrow. I'm saying this stuff to clear my own conscience. Well, Sky Sajid Chowdhury is at GB News' headquarters in West London. Plenty of developments today, uh, Sajid. Lawrence Fox speaking out, Ofcom speaking out too, and Dan Wooten losing one of his contracts. Yes, Lawrence Fox there in a 15-minute video that he made of himself, uh, posting it on social media. And if you go through it, and I've been going through it myself, there's actually quite a lot of good things in there. Lots of people will say that his stuff that he said on free speech is really good, mental health. He highlighted men's suicide, equality, feminism. He talked about a lot of things. You know, he, he said things like there's no bonus for being unforgiving or not being humble. So plenty there that is good. The, the problem is that when he had seven minutes on primetime television here in the UK to say those things, he didn't. Instead, he chose to degrade a woman. And you re do you remember, British TV is regulated by uh, the Ofcom, the broadcast regulator. It is meant to be a safe space where things like that can't be said and certainly can't go unchallenged. Have a listen to what the Ofcom chief executive said to us tonight. I don't want to comment particularly on the show because it is now subject to a live investigation. But I think we know that you know there are real issues around misogyny more widely in our public discourse. We know for our own from our own research at Ofcom that women are much more likely to get a hard time on social media than men, and more likely to feel really affected by that. So there are definitely wider issues here. But our job is to make sure after programmes have aired that we look at all the facts uh, and that we act in a way that's in accordance with our processes and with our rules, and that's what we've done this week. Well, Ofcom says it has received 7,300 complaints in relation to this and it has launched its own investigation, as has GB News, into uh, Dan Wooten's programme. Dan Wooten himself, very silent, you know, normally a chatty person, but actually we haven't heard from him since his apology yesterday uh, that he posted on social media. But today he had... He has been sacked from Mail Online, where he had a regular column. They've, uh, they put out a statement today saying that they had previously suspended him over other allegations, but now, uh, due to events this week, they've chosen to uh, terminate that contract. Both men have been suspended from GB News, and if we are to believe what Lawrence Fox said tonight in his video, he expects there to be some sackings. Sajia, thank you.